Hi, Rentech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has finally confirmed that Windows 10 version 21H1, which will be the first feature update of this year, 2021, is going to take place. We were all expecting this and they have confirmed this two days ago. Now, Windows 10 version 21H1 will be based on the October 2020 update, known as version 20H2, and that came out in the second half of last year as the second feature update of 2020, and that is known as version 20H2. Now, also the build, apparently, for Windows 10 version 21H1 will go from 19.04.2 to 19.04.3. So if you go to your search box and you type in WinVer, you will see if you are running version 20H2, your OS build will be 19.04.2 and when version 21H1 is installed, that will go to OS build 19.04.3. Now, apparently Windows 10 version 21H1 is going to be following more or less the same guidelines as 20H2 and apparently it will not modify the Windows hardware compatibility which means version 21H1 will be compatible with all existing PCs, apps and drivers and that is good to know. Now what are the rollout plans for uh, 21H1? Now apparently it is going to be launched in spring so if you're in the United States that will be spring and if you're in my part of the world that will be known as autumn and it's also going to be I think 21, 20H2 was, was the same where they're going to throttle the download uh, to prevent you know um, download issues and then what you can do when it's um, finally released if you want to check for it you, you know you just go to your settings update and security and you just check for updates and that will tell you if you have the update when it is finally released. Now, um, since uh, the version 21H1 is based on version 20H2 also, the update process is going to be a lot quicker and it's going to install like a monthly update, which means um, although it's a feature update, it's going to be more like the monthly rollout Windows update, the cumulative update side of things. Now, apparently there's not too many uh, major new features coming in this release. And uh, um, I think, though, as far as I know, um, the settings app is going to be more focused on in this release and obviously general quality improvements and security fixes. So in the past, a lot of the settings, if you go to your control panel, the old legacy control panel, a lot of the settings are in here, and I know that Microsoft is slowly wanting to migrate a lot of these settings in the old legacy control panel to the new Windows settings menu. So I think that is going to be uh, one of the things that Microsoft will be focusing on in 21H1. Now, after 21H1 is released, which, as I say, will be in spring in my part of the world. That will be autumn. And um, the next big update, which is going to be the big update of the year, um, known as 21H2, and the code name of that will is at present called Sun Valley. That will be taking place in the second half of next year. But before that, um, Windows uh, Microsoft is going to be releasing the much uh, and, and highly anticipated Windows 10X for single screen tablets and devices. So there's quite a few new Microsoft updates coming this year. As I say, the first one coming in spring, my part of the world autumn, that is 21H1, which we're talking about today. The next version um, after that will be 10X, which is for tablets and single screen devices. And then you're going to have the big one codenamed at the moment, Sun Valley, which is 21H2, and that should be coming in the second half of this year. So there's lots of exciting Microsoft products coming to, to the end user this year. 
I just thought I'd keep you updated with the process. And as I get more news, I will let you know. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.